All right, we're here at Gen Con 2010. I'm Dan with Gamesalute.com, and we're here talking with Justin Gary, the designer of Ascension, Chronicle of the God Slayer. It's a new deck building game. Uh, Justin is the principal owner of GaryGames.com, appropriate that with his last name. And he's going to show us just a real quick overview of what Ascension is like. So welcome to the show, Gary. Awesome, glad to be here. So we got a uh, really cool game. This is the first time we've actually been showing it off to the public. Uh, we've been getting a great response from it. Um, we took the concept of deck building games and we just kind of tried to take it up a notch, right? My, myself and the other people on my team, we've been playing card games forever. we played tons of Dominion, tons of Magic. For people that don't know, Justin is a Pro Tour Magic player, former Pro Tour Magic player. It's true, it's true, and so is uh, Brian Kibler and Rob Doherty, have all you know, won Pro Tours, and so we've, you know, we have a lot of experience in the industry, even though we're a new company, and so we wanted to take our understanding of that background and bring it to the standalone deck building game genre. So you don't have to buy packs of cards, you don't have an infinite commitment, you buy one box and you get that cool gaming experience. You buy this box, That's that right. box right there. <laughs> That's right. So, um, you know, I have a sample board laid out so I can kind of show some of the basic ideas behind the game. Um, you start with a very basic deck, um, just uh, two guys, the Apprentice and the Militia, um, which give you your two game resources, runes and power. Um, you use the runes to get cool cards to add to your deck, and you use power to beat up uh, monsters, and monsters get you honor, which we have these cool honor tokens that you get. Are those like ones and fives? Or? Yeah, exactly, exactly. These little ones are ones, these big ones are fives. Um, one of the cool mechanics that we have is, unlike other deck building games, where you got to spend like 20, 30 minutes setting up a board, and there's definitely a bunch of different piles, and then they're static the whole game, what we do is we shuffle up one central deck of cards, deal out what's available, and then that's what's going to be there for the game. When you actually buy one of these cards, a new card comes up off the top. So you never know exactly what's going to happen, and the game is constantly dynamic and changing, and no two games are the same. So there's not stacks of a bunch of cards. There's not a bunch of McKenna initiates, and then you buy down the pile. It's you buy this guy, and there might be another one out here, but then you're going to flip and get a different card. Now, how many different cards are there in the game? Um, we've got about 43 different cards in the game, which, again, makes us even more uh, diverse than any of the other games that are out there in the in the category. Um, we have a, you know, 100 different cards in the center deck or with you know some copies of cards and so you can plan a lot of different strategies um, based on whether you want to be a monster hunter based on whether you want to be getting a ton of runes and build this giant deck there's cool ways to like get cards out of your deck and build a really thin awesome very efficient deck um, that we have a new mechanic uh, called constructs which unlike the other cards uh, which uh, when you play them they actually stay in play um, so they're like permanence and magic where they can kind of continue to get you advantages and uh, help you build combos and cool other strategies and how are we going to win at the end of this game? Well, that's a good question. Uh, the Whenever you defeat a monster, it actually gives you an immediate reward. Um, that's usually some number of these honor points. Uh, and then uh, often something nasty will happen to your opponents or something cool will happen for you. And then it goes away. So you don't have to put any like victory point cards into your deck or anything that slows your deck down. When the honor pool runs out, there's a different number of points available depending on the number of players. That triggers the end of the game. Um, and then the number of honor points you have plus every single card you buy is worth honor. And so you actually can have, uh, you add up the number of cards in your deck that have honor points and you add up your honor tokens, the highest points wins. And if you run out of the cards in the deck, I don't know if that happens, but if you do, do you reshuffle, or is that trigger the end of the game as well? Uh, yeah, it pretty much never happens, but if it does, uh, you just reshuffle and keep playing until you run out of the honor pool. Cool. And you got this nice board here with uh, it's on your turn. It's a nice little breakdown, one, two, three of what you do. Yeah. And then it looks like, I mean, it's a two to four player game. You just got to set this in the middle of the table, and then it doesn't really matter where people sit. Exactly, exactly. Two to four players, game plays really well on each level. Um, we, you know, we did a lot of things where we just took away the mechanics from other games that we thought were too complicated or didn't help. Like, there's no buy limit. There's no purchase, you know, play cards limit. You play whatever cards you have in your hand. You can buy whatever cards are available. And one of the cool things is that because cards actually replace right away, if you buy one card, you can change your play based on the new cards that come up. So there's this exciting kind of top deck moment that happens that you just don't get to see in a lot of these other games. So it's, uh, you know, it doesn't matter how many players you have. It, anybody can kind of pick this up. We've had a lot of people who have never played other card games or board games come and try this out but then we've got a lot of advanced magic players we had david williams uh, you know just won a world uh, world poker series championship running around in one of our ascension shirts playing the game we had gabe walls we have you know tons of people that just recognize that there's a deep level of strategy here that doesn't require you to have a very complex set of rules 
That's awesome. So the base game, I believe, is forty dollars. Is that right? That's right. It's forty dollars for the base game that comes with the board with a bunch of these honor tokens with two hundred cards, um, and then you know everything you need to play. Um, we also have these really cool ascension sleeves. The only thing you don't you know that are actually just same as our card backs. So let's see if I can show you a card back here. So um, and these are you know same size as magic cards. You can use magic sleeves. You can use these on your magic cards, um, and they all come in this awesome little box. So for sixteen bucks, you actually get all two hundred sleeves that you need. It's a carrying case box. So other than the board, everything fits inside this box. So you actually can go and go to your conventions, go to a friend's place, just carrying around this little box, and it'll be everything you need to actually play the game. And I see you guys are looking into the future because you already have more card protectors, which you don't need for the base game, but you may want if you split some or for expansions. Yes, you never know. You can actually buy these. They're actually very reasonably priced. They're four fifty for fifty sleeves, so it's basically the same price you're going to pay any other sleeves. I think they look awesome, so you can play them on your you know magic decks. And yeah, we've gotten an incredible response. So you know, pretty good chance you'll see an expansion in the future and these will help you make sure everything is sleeved and protected and awesome looking that's great well justin gary thank you very much for taking the time to talk with us the game is ascension chronicle of the god slayer the company is gary games visit ascensiongame.com for more information and this will be in stores in about three weeks i think that's right end of the month all right great we'll have a great rest of the show awesome thanks a lot